Tesla Powerwall 2, Enphase Ensemble. Which is the best solar battery on the market? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their house set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And we do that primarily using solar and battery storage systems. Now, I've been a solar installer in the past, and I'm also a licensed electrician, and I've had an opportunity to install and use about a dozen different brands uh, and types of solar battery backup systems. And I'm excited to be bringing to you today a head-to-head -to -head comparison of two of the hottest solar battery products on the market, the Tesla Powerwall 2 and the Enphase Ensemble battery. Now, we're going to be evaluating these two products on five different dimensions. Those categories are power, including uh, constant power and peak surge power. We're going to be looking at energy storage capacity. We'll be looking at the length of the warranty. Of course, the price of the product. And then the last category is what I call the X factor. And the X factor is going to encompass many of the unique uh, architectural and design features of each product that they don't necessarily compare apples to apples, but it does uh, have a tremendous impact and difference uh, for potential system owners. So we're gonna do five points for each category, including the X factor, uh, leaving us with a maximum total score of 25 points each. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna start with the Tesla Powerwall first. Now the Powerwall has the slight advantage with power rating of five kilowatts continuous power and 7.7 uh, kilowatts of surge power. Now 5,000 watts, you can run a lot, quite a lot with that. Um, just like with a 5,000 watt portable generator, if you had to back up your home systems, you'd be able to run in most cases, uh, all of the lights, all of the bedrooms, uh, your television, your internet, your refrigerator, uh, pretty much every appliance that plugs into a standard 120 volt outlet. And in most cases, you can even run a, a well pump on that 5,000 watt power budget. That's also where the additional surge power uh, comes into handy because with up to 7,000 watts of surge power, that will give you a little bit of a boost if you have to start up a motor. Um, uh, motors that have a, uh, a high inrush when they first start up, like water pumps, for example, um, air conditioning compressors, things of that sort, that additional surge power rating helps a lot. So with 5,000 watts continuous and 7,000 watts surge, the Tesla Powerwall 2 is going to be able to handle pretty much um, any home backup type solution, so long as you don't have to do central heating and air conditioning. When you get into that, that's when it's going to exceed the power rating. Okay, the storage capacity on the Powerwall 2 is 13 and a half kilowatt hours, which is enough in most cases, if you're just backing up the critical systems in the home, that's going to be enough to make sure that you can keep all of those things on like refrigerators, lights, uh, kitchen appliances for at least 24 hours. And that's usually what we recommend is have at least 24 hours of backup power. So you've got a good reserve here with 13 and a half kilowatt hours per battery. And of course, the Tesla Powerwall is a stackable battery, meaning that you can add multiple battery units and each time you add a new battery unit, you're increasing the power handling and you're increasing the energy storage capacity. So you can expand as far as you need to meet your needs. The product comes with a 10 year warranty. Uh, 10 years is just about the best that you're gonna see for any solar battery product on the market. So Tesla is solid there with a 10 year warranty. And in terms of price, it's actually the lowest cost battery backup solution that we've ever offered. Um, if you look at the total project cost of a solar only system versus the cost of a solar with battery storage system, using the Tesla Powerwall actually it usually allows us to uh, offer the lowest overall price. And then finally, for the X Factor features, I'm gonna give Tesla two additional X Factor points, and the reason is because of the elegance of the design. Uh, I think Tesla has some of the best designers right up there on par with Apple uh, and other top tier technology companies. It is a very, very elegant, very well designed product where they've actually figured out a way to integrate the inverter 
which can pull what's what pulls energy from the actual battery cell and makes AC power that the house can use. So they can combine the inverter, the battery storage cell, the battery management system, and the battery cooling system all within one very sleek, elegant uh, appliance. So in terms of aesthetics and design, I'm going to give Tesla two additional X factor points. All right, let's take a look at the ensemble battery. Okay. So with the ensemble battery, we're looking at a slightly lower continuous power rating of 3.8 kilowatts. Now that's still enough to power most residential home backup appliances. Um, if you live in an urban or a suburban area where you have access to public, public utilities for water and sewer, then generally 3.8 kilowatts is going to be enough to run everything else you need to keep on in the house, like your bedrooms, your refrigerator, uh, your TV, your internet box, and so forth. So pretty much anything that plugs into a standard 120 volt wall outlet, the 3.8 kilowatts will be able to handle that. And the surge power on the unit is 5.7 kilowatts. So again, for things that require a quick startup surge or a quick inrush uh, to start up a motor, you get a little bit extra surge power there, 1.9 kW extra surge power. Um, let's say if you had to use a uh, a circular saw or something like that, maybe a plug-in saw or a blender that had a high inrush when the motor is first getting started. That'll be able to handle that fine. The storage capacity on the Enphase unit is 10 kilowatt hours per battery. So it's a slightly less storage capacity than what the Powerwall offers, but still, in most cases, going to be enough for your critical systems for about 24 hours. Uh, only exception would be Again, if you're in a rural area where you have a, uh, a heavy uh, well pump uh, for water service or a septic pump where you've got some heavier loads there, uh, for most suburban and urban backups, that uh, 10 kilowatt hours of reserve energy is going to be more than sufficient. The product also comes with a 10 year warranty, just like the Tesla. So these are both, I would consider, top tier warranties as far as battery products go. The price is a little bit higher though. Um, right now, as of this recording, uh, the price to get a battery backup with the Enphase unit uh, added onto your solar is about 20% higher price than what it would be for a comparable uh, Tesla Powerwall solution. Now that may change in the future, being that this is such a, such a new product being available on the market, but right now it's about 20% higher cost. And then finally, I want to talk about the X Factor because the, the Enphase Ensemble has a lot of very neat features that give it some advantages over the Tesla Powerwall and how the, the, the different architecture works. So the reason I'm giving it four points for X Factor is that the Enphase battery is designed to work in tight a partnership with Enphase microinverters. And what it allows the system to do is it actually allows the solar system and the battery system to operate in parallel, whereas on, on the Tesla side, and I'm going to try to explain this without getting, without getting too technical. Um, with the Tesla Powerwall solution, when you're running in backup mode, solar and battery are typically not on at the same time. Uh, when backup power kicks in for a Powerwall, you're typically running just off the battery until the battery drains down to about 60% charge. At that time, then the Powerwall allows the solar panels to activate to then recharge the battery full before allowing it to discharge again. The Ensemble solution operates in a slightly different fashion, where it can actually allow the solar microinverters to directly power the house without even drawing anything from the battery, or if the, the power demands of the house uh, increase beyond what the solar can support, then it can power from both sources simultaneously. So you can be drawing a majority from solar and then only using the battery to cover what the solar can't keep up with. So in a, in a grid down mode, the ensemble battery system allows you to get maximum use of the available solar energy because solar is basically able to provide as much as it can all the time, which allows you to run a lot further. You're not just draining the battery only and then only using solar for intermittent recharge. So because of that unique architecture and getting better uh, and more efficient performance in a grid down off grid mode, uh, I'm giving the ensemble battery four out of the available five X factor points. So in summary, uh, in terms of power, the, the Tesla Powerwall has a slight advantage of five kilowatts continuous versus the 3.8. 
the surge power being seven kilowatts on the Powerwall versus the 5.7 on the Ensemble. So the Powerwall has the slight advantage there, as well as with storage capacity. The Tesla Powerwall 2 comes in at 13 and a half kilowatt hours compared to only 10 kilowatt hours on the Enphase battery. Uh, both systems have a top tier warranty at 10 years. And again, as of this recording, the price on the Ensemble battery is about 20% higher. So Tesla has the edge here. Uh, Tesla gets two X-Factor points because of their elegance and sleekness of their design, whereas Enphase receives four X-Factor points uh, for their unique architecture in allowing the solar and battery to work together for maximum efficiency. So in total, uh, I'm going to give Powerwall a four out of five on power, four out of five on storage capacity, five out of five on warranty, five out of five on price being the lowest price battery that we currently offer, plus two X-Factor points for a total of 20 points. And coming in a very, very close second is the Enphase uh, battery, where I've given it three out of five for power and storage capacity, five out of five for the warranty, four out of five for price, because it is slightly higher priced. And again, those four additional X-Factor points for being able to have that tight coupling between the battery and the microinverters for better and more efficient off-grid performance. So in our case, at least for now, the winner is Tesla Powerwall 2. But I will, I will say this, um, the Enphase product is a very, very new product compared to Tesla Powerwall 2, which has been on the market now for about five years. Um, if Enphase can deliver on all of the capabilities that they are advertising, and if it proves to be a reliable system, I'm gonna do this comparison again, because if, if Enphase can deliver and it proves to be a reliable solution that doesn't have to have a lot of the, the bugs and, and kinks worked out, and I can tell you from my personal experience that many new solar products, when they come on the market, they, they, are, they are buggy. It's like version 1.0 software, and uh, Tesla did a great job of doing a lot of their beta tests internationally so when they finally rolled out nationwide here in the U.S., they had a very solid, reliable product. So time will tell, and we'll see how Enphase keeps up. But folks, as always, if you find the uh, content that we're putting out on this channel useful, make sure you click on that like button and uh, click on the subscribe button, and be sure to share this link with any others that you think could benefit from it. Well, as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.